Hello, my name is Sydney Downey. I'm 12 years old and I attend North Gwinnett Middle School and go to Duluth First United Methodist Church. Today, I will be doing my Lenten devotional video about judging others. The scripture I will be reading from today is Matthew chapter seven, verses one through five. Do not judge so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye while the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. This scripture is essentially telling you to first fix yourself before suggesting others to fix themselves. It is saying to not judge others as you might have a similar problem and it isn't showing love to them. Oftentimes in life, we find ourselves thinking bad of others based off of things like their appearance, the way they act, or even based off of their beliefs and views on certain subjects. More times than not, people choose to assume first the worst in people instead of believing in the good in people. I believe that people jump at the opportunity to judge others simply because it's easy. In our minds, it's so much easier to continue to believe and pursue the initial split-second thought we have about someone rather than to spend time around them and form a positive opinion and see the good in them. Plenty of people, myself included sometimes, feel that the judging is automatic and thus uncontrollable. As it is lent, an idea for anyone who finds himself assuming the worst in people or thinking bad about them is to take on an idea sort of like if you think about someone in a bad way or assume something bad about someone, then try to think three positive things about them. I pray that everyone who sees this video will ask God for forgiveness and start believing in seeing the good in friends, family, and even complete total strangers. I pray that everyone can start to show these people grace and love their neighbors as themselves. Thank you for watching my Lenten devotional. Have a blessed Lent.